Today I'm going to be showing you how to achieve this very simple and fun look. So why don't we go ahead and get started? Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to get an old Hollywood glam look. Now, a lot of celebrities back in the day, they didn't like wear the neutral colors because they were like, celebrities were kind of more popular back then, so they wanted to be more outgoing and just make their image like really BAM at first, but then you know, the sun has changed and, you know, a lot of people just started wearing more mature colors. But I, I want to do, like, a whole old-school glam kind of look. And this is my first, like, just full makeup tutorial. I'm going to just show you, like, a little hair, but I don't really count it because I'm not really doing anything in my hair. So, let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. Okay, so first I'm going to be applying this face primer. And this is from my sheer makeup cover kit, but I use it for, you know, just my face I guess you can say okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply it all around my face I'm just going to put like two dots and that should be enough for my face I'm going to take a brush like this just a regular old brush and I'm going to just kind of smooth it in be sure to get this all over your face so you don't miss any spots so your makeup can stay on longer. And this makes your face look shiny but trust me, once you put on your other makeup it definitely looks so great. And this just gets your face prepared for the makeup you're putting on. Okay so I, okay, so I have to allow this to dry so I'll be back when I'm done. Okay guys so I'm back with my dry primer. Um, you have to allow it to dry or it's just going to mess up your makeup. Next I'm going to be applying a foundation. This is CoverGirl's Nature Lux and this one's in 305 and it has SPF 10 in it, which is great. So I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand, kind of squeeze it on there. Next I'm going to just rub it in. And I'm going to... Okay, so that's the completed concealer. Next, I'm going to be using the LA Colors Finishing Powder. I'm going to be taking the same brush I used for the primer. And I'm just going to get that all over my brush. And just kind of apply it to my face to cover up anything that I might have left off. Okay, so I might be taking a long time with the face stuff. I apologize if I'm doing that, but I just want to make sure that your makeup doesn't come off and I, I don't want to be like unreliable. Okay, so let's go ahead and move to eyes. So I'm just going to do kind of a close up onto my eyes. As you can see, they're just like same old, same old. Okay, so I'm going to be taking the same concealer I used for my face, and I'm just going to use this as a primer since I don't have any eye primer, which I really, really, really need to get, and I am getting some. It's coming in the mail right now. It's coming with this thingy that I ordered, um, the Urban Decay something, rather, I don't know. So just apply that all over your eyelid. Okay, so now that's all rubbed in. So now I'm going to take a regular eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to take a green from this palette that I got from Claire's. And that's what the green looks like, kind of. And I'm just going to put that on my finger just to show you. It's really pigmented. Like, I mean, this is really great. I love it a lot. And I didn't expect Claire's to have this great of quality, but they do. So I'm just going to apply this to my lid. Be sure not to get it into your crease, or it might ruin the look. As you can see, it has a really dark effect on my eye, and it's not as light as it seems to be. Okay, so I've applied the eyeshadow to both eyes. And sorry if it looks like I'm looking away from the camera because I'm trying to look into a mirror. 
so I probably mess the time out will be. Next, I'm going to take a crease brush like this, and I'm going to put a very light blue on it, like this. And I'm going to just go ahead and start putting that into my creases and blending it kind of with the green to give it more of a smoky effect. Okay, so there's that. And I know this eye looks like a little less, but it's just, I don't know, maybe I did put a little less on it. Just kind of focus on this eye because you're going for the more dramatic look since that's kind of more old school Hollywood. Okay, so next I'm taking this pencil brush here and I'm going to take a very kind of light pale pink that almost looks white and a very light purple. And I'm going to just take my pencil brush and put this in my corners and the corner of my eyes. Okay, so there's that. I really like this look a lot too, just saying. <laughs> okay, so next I'm going to take a very um, kind of more white and put that on my brow bones just to make my eyes pop a little more. There's that. Next I'm going to take a brush kind of like this. Um, it's kind of one that you get in your regular eyeshadow palettes and like you know you get those little ones um, just like quads maybe and you get kinds like these but this came with my brush set and it's just really cute kind of pink with bows on it. Anyways back on topic. <clears throat> I'm going to be applying um, a darker kind of gray to the corner of my eyes just to give it more of a smoky effect. So I'm just going to take that and put that on the corner, kind of as a V. And this might not be showing up as well because my camera is a flip camera. I promise I'll, I'm working on getting a new one, trust me. So you just kind of want to get that smoky effect. So right now, that's what the eyes look like. Okay. So next I'm going. <clears throat> so next I'm going to take a white eyeliner, and this one is actually a gl a glimmer stick. And I got this one from Avon. Well, actually, it was given to me, and I'm just going to put this on top by my brow bones. And I'm going to blend it in with my middle finger. Okay, so it kind of blends the colors together, makes them a, a little more dramatic, and makes my eyes pop a little more. Next, I'm going to be taking this Urban Decay 24 7 Glide On. Um, eyeliner and this is in the form gunmetal and it's really kind of shimmery which I love. I'm going to just pull down my eye a little bit and put this on my lower waterline. Okay, sorry about that sound in my in the background. It's annoying. I have a crazy family. Anyways, and I'm just going to put this on my top up here as well. Just to kind of make my eyes look a little more sparkly and glamorous. Saracen doesn't look as good because um, I can't really see out this eye. It's it's weird. Okay, so that adds kind of more of a larger effect to my eyes and makes them look a little bigger. Next I'm going to take an eyelash curler and just curl my eyelashes. I'm going to be taking my Elizabeth Arden mascara because this is just like really volumizing. I really like this a lot. I got this a while ago but I still use it. 
why put makeup to waste, you know? Okay, so that kind of makes my eyes look a little more full as well. So now I'm going to move on to my face, more like my cheeks and my lips. Okay, so I'm just gonna... Okay, so what I'm going to take is this brush from Sonia Kushuk, I think, and it has blush and concealer on it already, because I kind of mix them together, and now I'm going to put like a small bronzer on it. And I'm going to just apply this to my apples and work up to my temples. Now back in the day, a lot of the old Hollywood glam people, they kind of just um, wore kind of darker cheeks rather than like, you know, what we wear now, the light pink, which I actually kind of prefer on darker because it makes you look a little more rosy and cute. So Next I'm going to be taking for lips um, my Revlon. Um, Lipstick in this one is in Coral Mary. I don't know if you can see that. But, anyways, I'm just going to apply this all over my lids. Okay. Next. <clears throat> Next I'm taking my Aquafina lip oil, which is totally optional. You can apply a lip gloss if you want to look a, a little more like shiny, but just go with like a plain one that doesn't have any color. Okay, so I've applied that and it makes my lips look more a little more shiny and glamorous. So next I'm going to take a brush like this, and this came in my little Claire's thingy. And I'm going to take one of the lip glosses that came in it and it's just really sparkly red. I'm just going to apply that all over my lips. This gives it more of a glamorous sparkle. Okay, so that is a completed makeup look and I absolutely love this look a lot. Those are the eyes, lips, cheeks. I really, really love this look a lot just because it's so old school and glamorous. So now I'm going to just move on the hair, which is really, really, really easy. Trust me. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a clip like this with just a lot of, like, these cute little rhinestones all over it. And I'm going to pull out my hair, my bangs, like, parts of my bangs. And just clip this in. And it kind of brings this up so it looks really cool. So that's kind of how I have my hair. And I just have her in this messy ponytail. So if you want to flip it to the side. Glamorous photo shoot, you know, whatever you want to do. Anyways, I really love this look and I hope you guys did too. Um, I wouldn't say this is appropriate for school. I mean, maybe the lips are if you want to go for the lip color that I have. And maybe like more of a neutral color for the eyes. But I just think you could wear this for like Halloween maybe or just, you know, if we're going out or something fun. And I just thought it was really fun to do. So thank you for watching. This is my first full makeup tutorial. So thank you so much for watching. Um, be sure to subscribe, rate, comment, do whatever else. Okay, thank you guys. I love you. Bye. Three of five. Um, ah, it just dripped on my shirt. Thank you. He's going to go to jail. Uh, he's got a list of uh, felonies. Yes. 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 Yes.